What's up? I'm hoping to do the Ragi, Kuluyuku, and Lagambi in this episode. I don't know how long this is going to take, especially since I'm using the Longsword, which is not my main weapon, but live a little. Or die a lot. That's more like it, but anyway. What's up, Ragi? I'm so sorry, but I kind of have to poke you to death. So Longsword is not my main weapon, but unlike a lot of other weapons in the game, I have at least used it enough to be somewhat comfortable. Which actually, come to think of it, about the only weapons that I'm not super comfortable with is a uh, heavy bow gun and gun lance. Go figure, they're the two I've used the least. But the hardest time I have thing with... What? When to use the... Oh. Yeah. Case in point. When to use the combos to try to charge up the blade. Sometimes I can't tell if that's it dispelling off of him. Yes, playing that horn is priority right now. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, who's got bombs? Hand him over. There you go. Alright, let's try to get the final one. And then it really is just too bad that I cannot seem to remember <laughs> any of the combos that use that gauge. But it does increase my base damage, so we'll just take advantage of that, I guess. I'm just gonna start poking buttons. I don't know what any of this does. Oh wait, trap. This is where he'll suddenly miraculously change target to the buddies. And then he'll roar at us. It's so obvious when the game is just being stubborn. <laughs> Get up here. Think you're stubborn? I'm stubborn. Oh, what's this? I have a marionette spider. That was extremely satisfying. You have no idea. <laughs> Alright, that time I heard the audio cue. What is that? Oh. Mm-hmm. Roar. Can I stagger you? Nope. Got the charge anyways. Don't be here! It's okay. Stay there. Please stay there. Uh, afflicted monsters cannot be captured. Got it. Because it being all afflicted and pissed off and whatnot, it probably wouldn't be able to succumb to the trank bombs. Does that make sense? I'm trying to remember how to do the, the jumpy thing. Longsword users know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that, so... <laughs> Somehow you can, like, stab it, jump into the air, and then come back down slashing. I don't remember how to do that. Bonk. Surprise. Actually, I feel like this guy's gonna be a little bit difficult afflicted because he probably moves very quickly once he gets all souped up. Ouch. <gasps> Move! Okay. Doesn't matter if you do or not, he has perfect tracking. Cool. Alright, we're just gonna stand there. I 100% had enough juice. What's that all about? Why is the world shaking? Okay. Uh, Gravius? 
Can I have some help, actually? <gasps> this poop is afflicted. I don't know how useful he's going to be. His attacks are so slow. But we'll give it a shot. Goodness. There's a thousand damage to him. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm only gonna have time for one though. That's fine. That animation reset. <laughs> Didn't know Gravios could move that quick. Would have been a good idea. Here, have these. Jeez. I bet you could fill at least 15 buckets of chicken with this guy. Of course, I haven't exactly considered the implications of eating a parasite ridden chicken. Unless, did the curio naturally taste spicy? Humans eat weirder things. I saw a documentary about a tribe. I don't remember which continent. I want to say it was in Africa. One of the rites of passage was like the young men have to go out into the jungle at night and they have to find spider holes for tarantulas and then roast the spider on an open flame and then eat it. Every bit of it. Legs, abdomen, everything. And that's part of their, their rite of passage, like coming of age. Horrible. Horrific, even terrifying that's just there's got to be something morally wrong there <laughs> but i mean they seem to like it it's not like they find it a horrible thing to do really the only part of it that's a rite of passage is tracking the mon the monster <laughs> well it is a tarantula it's tracking the freaking spider and then reaching your hand in its burrow to grab hold of it without getting bit once they made it past that stage and it's dead then it's pretty much just celebration after that because they actually really like the taste of tarantula it's really, really disturbing. I should probably specify that wasn't what the whole documentary was about. It was just a thing that popped up in it. Actually, I don't even think it was a documentary. Now that I think about it, I think it was one of those Josh Gates things. Expedition something something. I wonder if you can eat lion meat. That would make one heck of a <laughs> coming of age. <laughs> Have to wrestle a lion down with your bare hands. I love those wall-mounted wall humper things, whatever the heck those are. Oh my goodness, that looks like it hurts so much. Let's get thunder-cheeked by a crab. I just had the sudden realization that I'm gonna have to fight that thing afflicted at some point. That's a terrifying thought. There you go. Whiffing like crazy. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm setting off the bomb. <gasps> what are you doing? Is that like the warning or something that he's about to go supernova? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I think I just killed him through his rock. Smack. Right on the butt. Ouch. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Alright, try to get a charge here. Thank you very much. Thank you for holding still while I beat you with my sword. It's very appreciated. <laughs> I 
It's like me trying to get to the refrigerator in the middle of the night without making noise. Who's the idiot? Who are you getting? Octosome? I would have preferred you got Tetranodon, but whatever. Tetranodon. Ow. <laughs> no. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. That snowball picked up in size a lot faster than I thought it would. I just need some polish. You need some polish. Hold this. Uh oh. oh I think it's about to explode again. I'll take this. Thank you very much. Beast here. Do you cry on the floor all alone too? Please move. Please move. Please move. Ah, I think I timed that run. Yep. We're getting sat on. Ouch. Alright, buddy. I need you to stop running from me. Every time I get to you, you just slide away. Dude. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay. I cannot believe that didn't hit me. I did not iframe that because I was way too late to button. Kinda need to eat. Just realized that. Eat a well done steak right in front of the food source itself. How's it going, buddy? Try to forget about the fact that the steak is inside of you. Alright, that was our warning poof. Official term. Oh, now you got Tetranodon. Tetranodon. He's almost dead. I meant to jump a little bit more to the right. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm not chasing you anymore. Get over here. Well, he only did as I asked. Alright, are we done here? Yep. Good news. Thanks to your research contributions into the anomaly, we've discovered undocumented afflicted monsters. <laughs> and sooner or later, we'll be asking you to investigate these monsters, if you know what I mean. Yep. Same deal. You get some new materials, enhance your gear. I further my anomaly research. Everyone benefits. All right. Bye. This thing is so cool looking. I don't know what you feed a mechanical bird, but okay. And yes, I named it Clockwork. Only OG gamers are gonna know what that's referenced to. I'll see how else I can progress. I'm gonna have to keep doing some more investigations as well because I need more stuff. But that's gonna do it for this video, so as always, thanks for watching. Like and share the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!